So today we are going to see how we can create some binning or grouping of data using DAX commands. So DAX is the scripting engine for Power BI we're going to use. So here we have some age data and age from 0 to 120 is recorded in this. So we have 1000 rows which are being imported from this Excel spreadsheet. We can view the data and the data looks like this. It's just one column of data which is age. It's a numeric value. And I'm going to create a simple chart or kind of a histogram where I'm going to use age on the x-axis. Before I do that, I just want to go to the age because as you can see that the age is being shown as uh, summed up or aggregation. I'm going to remove that. So I've highlighted that age and then I'm going to say don't sum it up. And this is what we want to use. Okay, so we, we have the data here. I'm going to drag the age there and then similarly age also on the y-axis. So it has given us the frequency count of each age as it stands. As we said, we're going to create some age groups and we're going to use the dex command. And the way we're going to use the dex command is by going to create a new column. So I'm just going to go to this data and say, give me a new column. So I'm just going to highlight on the new column. And here we have the DAX command where we can put our scripting or the macros there. I'm just going to expand it. So let's write our DAX statement here. I want to create a column called age group. So I'm going to say age group equals to, and I'm going to use the switch command. And when I use the switch command, the first thing is the expression which is going to be evaluated for each of those expressions. So I'm going to say true. So it is going to be whatever I write is going to evaluate it whether it's true or false. So if it's true, it's going to do certain actions. So I'm saying age less than equals four. If this is the condition and if it occurs as true, then we want to have a label, something like zero to four years. So th that's good and we can say shift enter and then go to the next line and then I can add another statement there another switch which is going to be evaluated and if it's true it's going to do certain things so in this case we are using an and option and when we are doing and you have to put two ampersands there two ampersands in this gives us an and condition so we are saying that if age is greater than equals five and if age is less than ten we want to have a label of five to nine years. So that makes sense. Let me complete this by giving different options based on the five years age group. And then we have done everything. And at the end, you can see that if the age is above 85, 85 or above 85, then we call that or we give a label called 85 plus years. This is very common practice in medical or clinical data. If you go back to our data, we should be able to see another column. And that column should contain, let me minimize it, the age groups. So you can see that the age groups are there and they appear to be in proper order. So let's go back to our report view and create another column chart. And this time we can use the age group on the x-axis and the age itself on the y-axis. And you would see that we have the bands now instead of the individual frequencies, we have the total values for the band. So you can see that all these columns have been represented in the 85 plus years group. Similarly, this age group contains these individual frequencies for each age group. So this looks nice. This is what we wanted, but we still have a problem. And the problem seems to be that our groups are all jumbled up. They are not in a natural kind of an order thing starting from zero to four years, five to nine years, 
10 to 14 years. That's what we wanted, but it's all jumbled up. It's uh, That's not we, what we want. So we will have to solve this problem now. And again, we can solve this problem by creating another column using the DAX scripting or the commands. We will create another data column which we can use to control our sort order because the age group was not sorted properly so we will have to create another column called age group sort order and we will provide numerical values in there so that they can be sorted properly so in this case we are saying if the age is less than five then we want to see a number one in there and similarly we can do the complete script so you can see that for different age groups i'm saying one two three four five six up to 18 so we can use this column at the end to sort our data properly and let's see how we do that so if i go back and commit we should be able to see a new data column called age group sort order which contains numerical values ranging from 1 to 18 which we can use for sorting our data so let's go back to the report view and then try to solve this problem. So once again, I'm going to create a similar chart, putting age group on x-axis and age on the y-axis. You can see that it's still not being sorted properly. So what we need to do is highlight the age group, go to the sort order. Instead of sorting it by the age group, we want to sort it by the age group sort order. So a different column has been used to sort our data. So age group has been sorted by age group sort order. And let's see if it works or not. So I'm going to use age group on the x-axis and the count on the y. Then you can see that our age groups are now appearing properly as we wanted. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it. And I hope you subscribe and like our channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.